This is Executive Chef Douglas Sisk here at the Reefs, and we're working on uh, Pop TV, Plates of Passion. This is how we do it. This is getting it done right here. What you about to do now, Chef? These are some wonderful golden oyster mushrooms. So I'm gonna, I have this Greek olive oil, it's a cold press. Greek olive oil is really beautiful. So I'm gonna toss them with that olive oil and then salt and pepper, and then we're gonna throw them on the grill. So it's, it sounds super simple, but the ingredients themselves will sing. Once the olive oil soaks in and the, and the grill marks and the smokiness, cook these beautiful mushrooms, it's, forget about it, they're awesome. Here you go. Thank you, I'm ready. They're very delicate, beautiful mushrooms. Beautiful mushrooms. We have a nice flake for the salad sea salt. Chef guess this will make stuff taste like this. I eat it every day. <laughs> Wonderful. We like to hear good compliments. That's what a chef wants to hear coming back. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Everybody's happy, so that's a great thing, you know? That's why we do it. <laughs> that out of the way. Yeah, that side on the right. Yeah. Beautiful. All right, I'm going to start some asparagus. How long have you been a chef and where have you been like chefing? 30 years. I started in the restaurant business when I was 14, bussing right. bus tables. After, after by three, four months, I started washing dishes and I stayed in the kitchen and I've been doing nothing else but that my whole life. So we're just going to get these warmed up. Just want to slowly soften them, get them, make them tender. Nice little butter, give them some richness to the flavor. That's going to saute nicely. We got our oysters grilling, then we're going to have a, a wiping puree done already. And then a short ribs are in a, in a warmer, ready to go as well. Really nice, slowly braised. Cooking slow. Nice, you see the color start to change. They get nice and bright green. Wonderful flavor, richness from the butter. You can see it's starting to come through and they'll start to get tender. Beautiful. What do you expect from your assistant chef there? What do you expect from him? Well, I expect him to listen, number one. Two, follow directions. And three, execute as professionally and as perfectly as he possibly can. And if he needs help, just to ask so I can assist him and make sure that everything gets done the way it's supposed to. Because regardless of uh, who's making the plate, the guest demands perfection. They don't want anything less. So that's why I try to be involved as much as possible. But when I can't, I got to be able to count on my guys to do exactly what they need to do. Because the guests, they want what they want. There is no messing around. So it's important that they follow direction the most. <laughs> Really starting to push on this now.